These wires, circuits, and sensors all combine to mimic Mother Nature. This is a prosthetic leg with power being perfected in one of the Brubotics labs at the Free University in Brussels. PhD students hope their creation will one day help diabetic amputees walk again with relative ease. Usually this is a weakness uh, that affects their entire body and so they don't have a lot of energy in their body uh, to be able to walk. And we wanted to assist them in walking uh, by providing power. To provide extra power for the disabled, Brubotics is developing this robotic exoskeleton. Students use a styrofoam mannequin to show how it helps move a person's legs. The brilliant young minds who engineered this envisioned physical therapists using the exoskeleton to help train people who must relearn to walk. If you look at the future of robotics, it, we expect a, a huge revolution again. We had 20 years ago, we had a sort of first robotic revolution. Now we can, are expecting a second one. This second robotic revolution aims to use robotics to dramatically improve our lives. Many argue robotics is leading the fourth industrial revolution or industry 4.0. While these students are focused on health care, other prototype robots are designed for manufacturing. Students here are also working on advancing what's known as social robots. Hello, Kevin. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. These are robots programmed to interact with us humans. This social robot is practicing his Tai Chi, but robots like him are being used to help autistic children feel more comfortable being social with their peers. Robotics wants to design robots that act more human. And so in order to be able to do it, and we have to study the tricks that nature has developed throughout hundreds of years, thousands of years. And if you, stu if you study the tricks, uh, uh, or if you study the mechanics of biological organisms, um, you can learn how you can be better. And better robots, these students say, will mean better lives for all of us. Kevin Ozebeck, CCTV, Brussels.